let's take a look at the basic setup of the Biometric Fingerprint Reader plugin. This video will address these four areas. How to install and register the plugin on a Windows machine. How to install the necessary device libraries. Where to find all available external plugin functions. And how to create a plugin checker script and hard code the registration process. Windows Plugin Installation and Registration In order to manually install the Biometric Fingerprint Reader plugin on a Windows machine, you will first need to download the bundle from our site, which will look something like this. Since the bundle is zipped up for protection, the next step is to unzip or extract the contents of this bundle. This can be done by either right-clicking on the bundle and selecting Extract All, or by double-clicking on the zip file and selecting Extract All Files here. This is an important and necessary step on a Windows machine. With FileMaker closed, I can then copy the actual plugin, which is found inside the Biometric Fingerprint Reader Plugin and Installer folder. And my plugin is called the PCFP Biometric.fmx file. And I'll just go ahead and right click and select copy. And then I'm going to paste this in my C drive, program files, FileMaker, select your FileMaker version, and then the extensions folder. And here is the holding tank where all of FileMaker Pro plugins get installed. And we now have successfully installed the plugin on our machine, so let's go ahead and register. We have the option to manually register the plugin from our demo file provided, or your developer can hard code the registration process in your solution for you, which is discussed later in this video. For demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and begin FileMaker and register from our demo file. This plugin splash screen will disappear once you have registered a licensed copy of the plugin. I will select Browse and let's go ahead and browse for our demo file, which is going to be on our desktop in our biometric folder. And it's in a folder called Plugin Demo File and it's PCFP Demo. Go ahead and open the demo file, navigate to the Setup tab. And here in step one is the registration process. So as you can currently see, I'm operating in unregistered mode, which means that I haven't registered the plugin. When you purchase the plugin, you will receive a license ID. You simply enter that license ID here and select register. I'm going to register a demo copy of the plugin and simply keep the license ID with the demo license ID and select the register plugin button. Registration is successful and my operating mode is now demo mode. If you are running in demo mode, then please be mindful of the demo limitations and timeouts. Next, let's take a look at how to install the device libraries. I'm going to close FileMaker completely, open up our folder called Biometric on our desktop, and in here I will go into the Plugin and Installer folder and you'll find a PC Biometric executable. Simply going to double click that, select Run, allow everything that prompts up and we'll look at a few of these prompts here. I'm going to go ahead and select next. This is an important step in that you must select your FileMaker version that you'd like to install into. So I'm going to go ahead and select browse and let's go ahead and select FileMaker Pro 11 because I do have multiple copies of FileMaker on my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And now that I've selected my exact version of FileMaker to install the device libraries in, I can go ahead and select Next and Install. The installer may take a moment to run as all the necessary URU and companion DLL files are being unpacked and installed in your FileMaker Pro version. And then I will select Finish to complete the installer. For those that are curious, let's see what was installed in your FileMaker version. 
will go into your program files, FileMaker, and I will select FileMaker Pro 11. And what the installer put in your FileMaker Pro 11 folder was this bin folder and all files found in that bin folder. And we also installed a URU Manager DLL right in your FileMaker Pro 11 folder. So if we were to scroll down, you can see here is the URU Manager DLL that was installed. These are the necessary files that get installed when you run the biometric installer. Please do not alter or move these files. If you want to uninstall these files, please uninstall the PC biometric from your programs area found in your actual control panel. Plugin external functions. Let's go ahead and open up FileMaker Pro one more time. We'll get our demo file opened here and take a look at all the plugin external functions. Since I have FileMaker Pro Advanced installed, I can utilize the various additional development tools. I highly recommend all developers obtain a copy of FileMaker Pro Advanced to aid and assist during the development process. Let's go ahead and open the data viewer, select watch, and then we'll select the add expression here. In the upper right hand corner, here I will go ahead and select external functions from the drop down list. And here I will find a list of all available external plugin functions. I already had a credit card plugin installed, so let's go ahead and scroll down to the PC biometric here. And we can see that all biometric plugin functions are neatly organized beneath the plugin name and all begin with PCFP as shown here. The naming convention of the plugin functions are determined by the plugin manufacturer. Now that I have the plugin installed and registered, I can use these additional plugin functions in my script steps. And for a detailed description of each plugin function, please refer to the plugin documentation that we provide. Lastly, let's discuss the plugin checker script. This script ensures that the plugin has been properly installed and registered before attempting to use any plugin functions. This script is highly recommended in a multi user environment in order to alleviate user frustration or error. The three functions used to create this plugin checker script are PCFP version, which in this case determines if the plugin has been properly installed. PCFP Git Operating Mode, which determines the operating mode of the plugin, and PCFP Register, which registers the plugin behind the scenes if needed. Let's look at the script steps of a sample plugin checker script. First, let's check to see if the plugin is installed by calling the version function. This function will return empty results or a question mark if the plugin is not installed. We can show a custom dialog if the plugin is not installed, alerting the user, and it might even be a good idea to go back to the main setup layout and halt the script. Next, let's check to see if the plugin has been properly registered by determining the operating mode. If git operating mode does not equal live, then we will call the register function, hard code the four parameters including your license ID, and register the plugin behind the scenes. If the registration result does not equal zero, then we can display a dialog that the plugin registration failed. Once you have created the appropriate plugin checker script, you can simply add this script step at the beginning of any scripts using the plugin functions. There are various ways you can implement and write a plugin checker script depending on your environment and needs. The version, get operating mode, and register functions are explained in further detail in the plugin documentation. This is just one example to get your creative juices flowing. Now we can begin to integrate the plugin into your FileMaker solution. Please make sure you utilize all available tools we provide, such as additional training videos, documentation, and reverse engineer our demo file. If you need additional assistance, contact us via email, phone, or browse our forum for answers. We are happy to assist you with any integration scripts or even design a solution for you. Thank you for watching and happy file making.